Good morning. The Secretary General will have opening remarks and then we'll take a few questions. Uh, Secretary General. Good morning. We are uh, facing many challenges from uh, many different uh, directions. Conflict, uh, instability and insecurity. And a refugee crisis, uh, which is a tragic result of the turmoil, of the turmoil we see to our south. NATO is responding. We are implementing the biggest reinforcement of our collective defense since the end of the Cold War. We have stood up the very high Redness Joint Task Force and we have uh, stepped up our exercises. We have uh, set up uh, six small headquarters in Eastern uh, Allied countries in uh, Europe. Today, we expect us, um, I expect the uh, Ministers of Defence uh, to approve the establishment of two uh, more such headquarters in Hungary and in Slovakia. They will ensure that our forces can move quickly and effectively if they need to uh, deploy. We will also give final approval to the military concept for the enhanced NATO response force to make it bigger, faster, and more capable. Our military commanders have confirmed that we already have the capabilities and the infrastructure that we need to, de to deploy the NATO response force uh, to the south and to sustain it there. But we will also consider what more we might need to do. We will assess uh, what we have to do to adapt NATO to current and future challenges from cyber to hybrid uh, to a conventional attack. Secretary General uh, Jonathan Marcus from the BBC, good morning. Good morning. Um, the Alliance has already uh, uh, stressed its solidarity with Turkey over the incursions. Are we going to see anything more than just words? Uh, when Turkey was previously threatened, you deployed Patriot surface-to-air missiles to the country. Uh, are we likely to see either an extension of that deployment or any other practical steps to reassure Ankara? NATO is uh, able and ready to defend uh, all allies, including Turkey, against any threats. And one of the main reasons why we have increased the readiness, the preparedness of our forces, why we have doubled the size of the NATO response force, why we have established a very high readiness joint task force, why we have increased the efficiency of decision making. All of this is a response both to the challenges we see to the east, but also to the challenges we see to the south with the turmoil, uh, with the violence, which we have seen uh, in Syria and, uh, and in Iraq. So NATO has already responded by increasing our capacity, our ability, our preparedness to deploy forces, including to the south, including t in Turkey, if uh, needed. Uh, we are constantly assessing the situation with also uh, the Turkish government. I met with the Turkish foreign minister just a couple of days ago, and we will continue to stay in close contact with them and constantly assess uh, if there is need for something more. Reuters. Selina Siebold with Reuters. Mr. Secretary General, um, will NATO extend its mission in Afghanistan after developments in Kunduz? Uh, 